This striker isn't just a legendary kickboxer, he is the perfect fighter. He is so flawless and so surgical that they call him the doctor. This man went from a homeless boy begging for food to the most respected kickboxer that the world has ever seen. This is the greatest kickboxer of all time. His name, Giorgio Petrosian. As the owner of a six year and 42 fight undefeated streak, he holds one of the most dominant reigns in kickboxing history. His record is 102 wins with two losses, but in reality, it really should be 104 wins. This is because he got drugged in one fight and in the other, the opponent tampered with his gloves. Unlike what most people think, Petrosian was actually a Muay Thai fighter first before becoming the renowned kickboxer he is today. He paired the brilliance of fundamental Muay Thai with the best of boxing. From Muay Thai, he had rock solid defense and the ability to use his timing and rhythm to counter all of his kickboxing opponents. And from boxing, he had the ability to land beautiful combination punching among other boxing fundamentals. As a striker, Petrosian, he isn't doing anything fancy. If you watch his fights, there's nothing flashy, nothing in your face. But what he does have is basic fundamentals beyond any of his peers. In other words, he has legendary fundamental skills. This is why we are such advocates of training basic fundamentals on a regular basis. This is the outcome. If you take a closer look, he is extremely precise with the way he moves, and each action has a purpose, nothing is wasted. Each of his movements sets himself up for his next step, and his entire system is very logical and efficient. And as a fighter, he barely gets hit. He is the one doing the hitting. The master of hit and not get hit. With over 41 knockouts, he is what people in the Muay Thai world call a Muay Mat and Muay Femur hybrid. This means that he's capable of being an aggressive puncher and finishing his opponents, but also that he can adapt to being a counter technician whenever it is required. Also, the small discreet adjustments he makes, moving and positioning his opponents wherever he wants. Petrosian is a true master of ring control. Not to mention his beautifully precision long knees that always seem to find a hope and the ability to lean back and evade any counters that may follow. Every coach will admit that he is the model for textbook perfect striking. But not many people know his underdog story and how he made the impossible happen. When Petrosian was 13 years old, he moved from socialist Armenia to Italy and was initially homeless. 
After sleeping in trains and on the streets, they eventually started working in factories. Inspired by Bruce Lee and Jean-Claude Van Damme, Petrosian fell in love with martial arts just like the rest of us. And by the time Petrosian was 14, he started training Muay Thai. He was refused by gyms for being too small, but he would not be denied. And by the age of 16, he took his first fight. And in 2003, only after a few amateur fights, Petrosian turned professional. At first, he fought exclusively under Muay Thai rules for the first five years. And within that first year, he managed to capture his first title. In the second year, he outpointed the legendary Fabio Pinka for the European title. Then, by his third year, he fought to a draw with the three-time Lumpini Stadium champion, Vincent Chad. After capturing the WMC title, he journeyed to Thailand to train for the first time, and shortly after, captured his first world title by the fourth year of fighting. But prior to the match, he was just two kilograms underweight and the promoters forced him to drink water to make up the rest of the two kilograms. But the water would be contaminated and with terrible stomachache, he would be handed the first loss of his career and be hospitalized for days after. In the same year, he would challenge Boakau for his world title. But after an exciting and technical fight, the bout was ruled a draw, which anyone who is five years into Muay Thai can be extremely proud of. By 2008, Petrosian made a full-time transition into kickboxing, and in the next year, he would defeat the Dutch legend, Andy Sauer. It was indeed a dramatic and controversial fight, but it was Petrosian's destiny to win this epic bout. And by this point, his record was 53 wins with one loss and holding a victory against a two-time K1 Max champion. So of course, it only made sense that he was then invited to compete in the most prestigious kickboxing tournament in the world, the K1 World Max Grand Prix. In the historic 2009 Grand Prix, he dominated Dasbar Askarov with beautiful hand control and knees, eventually putting him away. In the quarterfinal, he won a decision against yet another K1 Max champion, Albert Kraus, and this time in a beautiful battle of heated exchanges, outscoring and out-techniquing his highly regarded opponent. In the semi-finals, he knocked out Yuya Yamamoto in devastating fashion, while having a broken hand. Then despite the broken hand, he still continued to dominate Andy Sauer for another three rounds by dropping him with a knee and controlling the rest of the fight with his beautiful textbook striking. But this isn't even where his legend ends within the K1 world. In the next year's Grand Prix, Petrosian would defeat Albert Kraus in the same way as he did in their first match, controlling the majority of the fight as a counterfighter. Then against Iron Mike Zambides, Petrosian was not hit once in the first round, and in rounds two and three, Zambides desperately chased Petrosian around the ring. Although Zambidi scored a knockdown in the second, Petrosian was able to outscore him and secure a victory. In the finals, Petrosian met Yoshihiro Sato, a man who knocked out Boakau to secure the K1 World Max title again becoming the only fighter to ever win the K1 Max title two years in a row. And with this, he had already secured status as one of the most legendary fighters of all time. But thankfully for us, he was nowhere near done.
Other than losing to Andy Risty, which would prove to be another controversial loss due to glove tampering, Petrosian has won another 51 fights since capturing the two K1 titles. He didn't just fight anyone, he's been fighting a list of who's who's, the very best in kickboxing and Muay Thai from all over the world. Today, he is still dominating the kickboxing arena in one championship. Unlike what most people in the West think, Muay Thai is not just stand and bang, nor is it a poor base for kickboxing and MMA. No, fundamentally sound Muay Thai can transfer into any combat sport in the world. His story from a homeless boy to a true superstar should inspire anyone to chase their dreams. Giorgio Petrosian, remember his name and give the legend the recognition he truly deserves. If you enjoyed our legendary feature, do check out more of our other features on legendary strikers. If you want to see genius level fighting, we have featured other jockey gym legends such as Sanchai, Somrak, Ladilla and Danny Bill. I'm Lawrence Kenshin and thank you for continuing to watch Striking Breakdowns.